Hello everyone, my name is Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. So in the last video, we saw about the basics of stack and we also saw some of the applications. One of them was checking for the balanced parenthesis. So in this uh, video, we'll be looking at its uh, exit implementation and how it works. So in this video, we'll be looking at the solution of parenthesis checker. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? Given an expression string x, so x we are given, which is an expression string, okay? Examine whether the pairs and the orders of opening brackets of and closing brackets of three different types are in correct expression. For example, the function should return true for this example and should return false for this example. As you can see here, uh, the square bracket is opening, then circular bracket is opening, then square bracket is closing, which is not a valid option. Okay. The driver code prints balanced if function returns true, otherwise it prints not balanced. Okay, so we just need to return true or false if the string is balanced or not. And the driver code will print balanced or not depending upon the condition. So if I look at this example, see this is a completely barren, uh, balanced parenthesis, so we will return true. Okay, and if you look at this example, this is also balanced. If you look at this example, here there is no closing bracket, so this will print false. This is a function problem. You only need to complete the function is pair that takes a string as a parameter and returns a boolean value true if brackets are balanced and returns otherwise returns false. The printing is done automatically by the driver code. The expected time complexity is big of modulus x that is the length of string x and the expected auxiliary space is also length of the string x that is the expression and the constraints are given here. So now if we think about solving this problem, so basically see we will be given an expression x in the input and we need to tell whether it is balanced or not. Now understand one thing, in the expression x there are four, uh, six characters, one is this curly opening bracket, curly closing bracket, square opening bracket, square closing bracket, circular opening bracket and circular closing bracket, okay. So what do we mean by a balanced parenthesis or a balanced expression. It means if we can represent a mathematical expression successfully in it. So uh, if I have a balanced parenthesis, let's say like this, can I represent a mathematical expression properly in this? Yes, absolutely. How? I can say 2 into 3 plus 4 into 5, 4 plus 5 and let's say this, okay, or let's say uh, I will keep here a minus sign. So, this is completely balanced, okay. But if I say you this, then here you cannot place any uh, proper uh, ex mathematical expression because let's say you place 2 into 3 plus 6, but this is not balanced. There should be an opening bracket with respect to this which is absent here, first thing. So, every opening bracket must have a respective closing bracket and the same closing bracket, okay. I cannot say like this, this is not balanced, okay first thing. Second thing that a closing bracket should not come more than the opening brackets before. So, what I mean by that is let's say here there are two opening brackets and two closing brackets of the same type but is this balanced? No. Here there are two closing brackets but if we look at the first three characters there are two closing bracket and one opening bracket which is not quite possible because the opening bracket comes first then the respective closing bracket comes if it is balanced. So this will, this is also not balanced, okay. So this is not balanced if the number of brackets are less is not balanced. If the brackets are uh, not of the same type and not of the, not in proper order that is not balanced then this is also not balanced, okay. This is also not balanced because this opening bracket came afterwards. So this oh, closing bracket should come here. Now this much is balanced. But if you say me this, this is not balanced, right? Uh, this closing bracket should come after this or this opening bracket should come here, the square opening bracket. This is not balanced. So we need to keep up these things in mind. Now, how can we solve it efficiently? So we can solve this question with the help of our state data structure, okay? So how can we solve it with the help of the stack data structure? So what we can do is whenever we see, if you remember in the stack, we can uh, access the element from the top only, right? And uh, whenever we want to insert an element, that also we can do on the top of the stack only. So what we can do is we can traverse the expression from left to right. Whenever we get an opening bracket of any type, whether it be this or this or this, we will push it inside the stack. Whenever we get a closing bracket, we will match it with the top of the stack, right? If that opening bracket is the same as same kind as that closing bracket, we will consider it as a pair and we will pop out the top element of the stack, right? So we have found one pair. But if they do not match, then that is not balanced, right? 
and if the stack is empty there is no opening bracket with respect to a closing bracket then also it is not balanced if at the end of this process if my stack is not empty it means there are more opening brackets than closing bracket that is also not balanced okay so what i'm trying to say is let us take this example so it is like this okay so whenever there is opening bracket i will push it inside my stack okay this is also opening bracket i will push it inside my stack now this is a closing bracket so i will match it with the top of the stack are they of the same kind yes both of them are circular so i will pop this element out and i will consider this and this to be a pair okay so now my stack contains only closing bracket now i got this opening bracket so whenever i get opening bracket i push it inside my stack now i got this closing bracket so i match it with the top of the stack why we match it with the top of the stack because the opening bracket which came last the respective closing bracket will come first okay why this is not balanced because the last opening bracket was circular but the first closing bracket was a square circular would have come first right that's why we are taking the stack data structure because in this last in comes first out so whatever is the last opening bracket the respective closing bracket should come first in the string okay so now we match it with this so this and this are same kind this is closing bracket so i'll pop it out from this and assume that this and this are pair okay now again i have a closing bracket i will compare it with the top of the stack the top of the stack is this these two are the both the square brackets so i will pop this out this also out so after i complete the traversal if my stack is empty and at any step uh, uh, at every step whenever i got a closing bracket i found a respective opening bracket at the top of the stack and after completing this process if my stack is empty it means that this is a balanced parenthesis because for every opening bracket there was a respective closing bracket and that too in the same order that's why our stack was empty at uh, at the end of the process and we didn't found any mistake in between okay now let's run on this okay uh, let's run on this so first of all i'll push this inside the stack uh, then uh, this is the closing bracket so i will pop this out the, so i will form this pair and i will move further now this is the closing bracket but my stack is empty there is no respective opening bracket so at this point of time i can say there is no opening bracket with respect to this so uh, it is not possible i will break out from the loop and i will return false okay so this is not possible so this is done this is done uh, now let's have a look at this so this is the opening bracket i will push it here uh, then uh, this is the closing bracket uh, so i will see the top of the stack but this is circular this is square they are not of the same kind so they do not form a pair so again i will return false okay so this is also not possible uh, now here also similar thing will happen Op uh, opening closing closing opening so first of all i'll push opening bracket inside the stack then i see this closing bracket i will pop this out then i again see closing bracket but my stack is empty so there is no opening bracket with respect to this okay so this is also not valid uh, then we look if we look at this so it is like this right so first of all i push inside the stack this opening bracket uh, then i push inside the stack this opening bracket then i found a closing bracket now that closing bracket is not matching with the top of the stack uh, opening bracket okay they are not of the same kind so they also cannot form a pair and this is also not valid so in this way basically what we will do is we will move from left to right whenever we encounter a opening bracket we will push it inside the stack whenever we encounter a closing bracket we match it with the top of the stack if they are of the same kind we consider it to be a pair and pop the top element of the stack if they are not of the same kind or if the stack is empty we assume that uh, the parenthesis is not balanced and we mark answer as false and after completing the process if the stack is not empty in that case also the number of opening brackets are more as compared to closing brackets and in that case also we will return false for example if my uh, string is this okay so first of all i will push this inside my stack then there is again opening bracket so i will push it inside my stack then there is closing bracket so i will pop it out from my stack i have completed but uh, st stack is not empty so there is no closing bracket with respect to this opening bracket so this is also not possible now let's look at its actual implementation so if we look at the actual implementation so this is the function which we need to complete this is string x which is given to us in the input this is the stack x uh, this is the stack s which i am taking uh, which is of type character and i have taken a uh, size of the expression string i have taken one variable i and i have taken one flag variable f 
I have marked it as 1 so it means that I am assuming that uh, parenthesis is balanced if at any point of time I found that uh, the brackets are not matching or I do not get a pair for a particular bracket then I will make f as 0 okay so that is why I have used flag variable f then I have used a loop from i equals to 0 to n if uh, x of i is opening bracket or this or this so if the x of i is opening bracket of any kind push it inside the stack else if it is not a opening bracket then find the respective pair on the top of the stack if exist if a stack is empty so there is no respective opening bracket for the closing bracket i will mark f variable as uh, zero and i will break out of the for loop there is no need to check further if the stack is not empty then check if the stack dot top is this opening bracket and if x of i is this closing bracket then pop it out well and good if the top bracket in the stack is this uh, and if the x of i is this then also they are forming a pair well and good pop it out if the top of the stack is this opening bracket and if x of i is this closing bracket then also they are forming a pair, a pair for well and good pop it out from the uh, stack other than this any other pairs do not match okay so i will mark flag variable as zero and break out of the whole loop so when I come out, I also need to check if the stack is empty or not. If stack is not empty, then also I need to mark flag variable as false because the number of opening brackets are more than the number of closing brackets. At the end, if my flag variables remains one, I will return true that the parenthesis is balanced. If at any point of time my flag variable becomes zero, I will return false. Okay. So this is the implementation. What will be the time complexity? Time complexity will be big O of n because at every step I am either pushing an element inside the stack or popping an element outside of the stack this is n size for loop and these are all constant uh, time uh, operations and what will be the auxiliary space the auxiliary space here will also be big O of n why because we are pushing the element inside the stack whenever we get an opening bracket so a stack is used okay let's say there are uh, n by 2 opening brackets first and n by 2 closing brackets afterwards so we push n by 2 elements inside the stack so that is nothing but big O of n space, right? So this is the uh, time complexity and this is the auxiliary space. Now let's submit this code. So let's submit it. So we have solved this question successfully. I hope you have understood the solution completely. Thank you.